What the fuck? Should I? Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, welcome to Jurassic World Evolution. I've tried to record this maybe twice, three times now, and it's not, it's not going well, but we're gonna try it one more time, hopefully this is the one. Uh, it was released on the 12th of June, and it's now the 13th of June, late on the 13th of June, so I'm a little behind the times, but no more than usual, I do suppose. So we'll get the new game, we'll start it up, autosave data, etc, etc. Here we are, the intro screen. Hello, may I say welcome? My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. Hi, Ian Malcolm. You've heard of me? Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only... If only there had been five. I don't know what you're talking about. Your name's not Dr. Ian Malcolm. It's Jeff Goldblum. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here. And you should, because diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are. And uh, you want to be ready before you try that. The big, angry, hungry things are probably on Isla Nublar, which is where, like, all of the other Jurassic Park slash world movies have taken place. So here we are at our park, and they're, like, playing majestic music. It's not actually that majestic looking, but I'm that's Kevin okay. I'm Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond Creation Lab. Hi, Cabot Finch. I don't remember you. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> now, why is this cheaper the further away from the fence I go? Oh, it's supposed to be, like, in the center of this to get it the cheapest? I don't understand. It's really chump chain, so let's just build it there. Bam. Done. Let's focus on what you're here to do. Which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Hooray. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. Is that so? Well, it's interesting to me that uh, they don't have anything to speed up the time need to around connect here. It to the pre existing network of paths and the power grid. Alright, done. What's next? Now comes the real test. Incubating a, dinosaur. Incubate a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. Check that out. Mm. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? What could possibly Come go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much. And invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the the last time. There's always a last time. And a next. That's not true. The first time didn't have a last time to it, did it? The boss will go wrong. <laughs> that phrase has been poisoned for me by Bubsy. Life Look, there he is. It begins. The most precious moment. The result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. <laughs> so, well done, I guess. It is well done. Look at that dinosaur, he's gorgeous. I love him already. My very first little Struthiomimus, although he'll probably get eaten by a raptor once we start making meat eaters. Or maybe we shouldn't make meat eaters. That would be a good way to uh, ensure success of Jurassic Park, am I right? I don't know why they didn't figure that out through the four or five movies that they've done already. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've Security. already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. 
choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Huzzah! I don't know why he said security like that. Security! Uh, we got dark black guy, lighter black guy, and Chica. So, uh, immediately leading towards Chica, because, you know, I don't want to hang out with the black dudes. Although, security is probably really, really important. But like I said, I don't plan on making many meaty-eating dinosaurs. Entertainment's probably uh, big screen TVs for the dinosaurs, <laughs> which doesn't seem important. Uh, it's probably getting people into your park, which is important for making money, because, you know, we only have three million dollars. And when you have a, an operation of this size, three million dollars can go pretty quick. But uh, science contract seems like the right one to me, just because, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna build more dinosaurs and keep the dinosaurs happier because you're doing your your research on them instead of just shooting them when they get out of control or making money off them. So, a, <laughs> keeping keeping gender and race out of this, I think science is probably the contract that I would go with regardless. So let us do just that. Bam. Ah, Dr. Dua. Dr. Dua. This is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Ooh. Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. An accent, though. Okay. You're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Okay, cool. I can just... Shove this thing Contracts in here. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So yeah, Z and X so to rotate the building, Q and E to rotate reputation. the camera. Your rep, quote unquote. Very nice. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. We fucking take it personally. We are professionals, are we not? This is just the way things are. What do you want from me, dude? People Expedition think money map. makes the world go around, mm. but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go around, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract and your rep with the science division will increase. Meaning you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. Okay, great. Transmission incoming. Science mission. Acquire 50% genome, make a triceratops. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. Outstanding. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure Work life. together to create if you've been life. To Dr. Malcolm, <laughs> then you know how important this that's, is to that's us. quite forward. To me. Quite forward of you, young lady. But yeah, we're going to head up the expedition center. We're supposed to be hunting a triceratops, which I, I saw kind of right person. here. Inquisitive, driven, Shazam. And I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. I can't resist. My goodness. Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. Complete genome, which basically means less lizard and Good. frog DNA your first expedition in your dinosaurs. Team is out. They'll bring back what they find <clears throat> to the fossil center for extraction. Outstanding. So you just basically gotta wait around for two minutes, I suppose. Let's go check out the fossil center. I already kinda know what I'm doing here. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs, which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. Nature and commerce, they just get along so well. I don't understand how you could not see the, the genius in that. You just... You know, take your commerce, destroy the nature, sell all the trees as paper, and then and then you win, right? At least until there's no more nature to commercialize. <laughs> and then and then Dr. Ian Malcolm is correct in the end. So we got a little power station here, 60 power. We got 10, 20, 30, 
40 power being taken up. You should probably build a hotel or something like that. I didn't pick that entertainment guy, but I know there's a hotel around here somewhere. Yeah, guests. That's what I need. That is costly, though. I should probably keep some money on reserve, but this will help me make more money. More money. That's important. So, alright, let's uh, shove it way over to the side. We'll knock some trees down. Nature and commerce. Terrain constraints. Okay. We'll go here. Outstanding. Where's that path? There you are. Connection. Done and done. And the expedition team is back. Huzzah. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Interesting. So each of these fossils has like a quality to them, which I assume will give you more or less genome. We've got uh, Edmontosaurus Amber, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're not exactly uh, racing towards the Triceratops DNA. It's just a mission, you know, and I've never been one for uh, grinding too hard on missions. We've also got a uh, coprolite, which is going to sell for 40,000, which is kind of weird because it's just fossilized poop, but I guess there's some people out there that want to buy it, so good, good. I'm glad to have a bit more money coming in. <clears throat> so hotel almost done. We're probably going to need another power sensor relatively soon. Um, let's see, does this take any power over here? Should probably try and keep tabs. Yeah, so we've got power consumption one for these substations. Huh. I'll probably need to build a new a new power supply relatively soon. But we've also got uh, Edmontosaurus, which he's see he's a a grassy eater, a Vegisaurus. So we should incubate one. I want more new dinosaurs. A friend for my little Struthiomimus, yes. 50% genome for Triceratops. Are we still, are we still? We should probably do another expedition. Hmm. And this place is now partially depleted, but I do want to go back there. Just because. Gotta keep your teams moving, you know? I think that's the whole thing. I don't want to sit around with my thumb up my ass for too long. That's never good. So, I don't know how we did. I guess the Edmontosaurus went just fine. Um, low quality genomes. Dang. I guess just try and extract what you can from that. I only need 50% in order to extract the Triceratops, but it doesn't look like anything is happening with this one. Oh, look, there, just a little bit. Just a smidge of the time. This game kind of feels like a smartphone game, you know what I mean? Which is a little bit unfortunate. It's a lot of waiting around, but at least it's not like, come back in three hours. It's like, okay, two minutes, I can deal with it. But it kind of feels like an attempt to stretch the life of the game. Oh my god, he's gorgeous! I like this one a lot more. Reminds me of those, uh... What are they called? Diplodocus? Diplodocus is the giant long neck one. I can't remember. What was Ducky this in the land before time? <laughs> Edmontosaurus was originally uncovered at a site in Canada. I'll let you guess where. The T Rex thinks these are delicious. And who's to argue? We are not having any T Rexes. God damn it. Profit per minute 55,000. A greater variety of dinosaurs would improve your island rating and so attract more guests. Well, that's nice. I'm working on getting more dinosaurs, okay? Alright, we good? We understand each other? What else should we get for guests? We've got gift shops. Fast food. Yeah, you probably want food. So these people don't end up eating the dinosaurs. Hmm. Does the placement of these things have, like, anything to do with anything? Should I put this near the, uh, the gift shop? That would be a good idea. You gotta walk by the gift shop to get food. Yeah, that's that's ingenious. That's marketing and commerce. Or nature and commerce? It's not nature and commerce. <clears throat> that's manipulating nature. But ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's see what we got as far as fossils. 
Ooh, Triceratops Amber. Extract that. Yeah. Amber's just the best. You always want to find some Amber. Mmm. We're gonna have that Triceratops in no time. What else we got? Silver. Ooh, sell some silver. Now we're gonna be diamond miners. We're gonna make some dinosaur blood diamonds. You could probably make a diamond with a dinosaur foot if they just step on it hard enough. Let's see, Edmontosaurus, Struthiomimus, Triceratops, Ceratosaurus. I'm not interested in meat eaters. Please no. Hmm. Portugal has Ceratosaurus as well. There's nothing in Russia. We got a a Chinosaur. <laughs> A dinosaur in China. A Chinosaur. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous. And I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. It probably will have been worth it, Dr. Dua. I've sent out three expeditions to complete your, your fool's errand. And now I'm going to send another one to China for a Huayangosaurus. Huayangosaurus. Fuck it, why not? I wonder if you can find other things besides what is listed. Because I largely picked that other site because it had, like, other dinosaurs. Everything else seems to only have one dinosaur. Hmm. It's also the only place I can find Triceratops, it seems. Yeah, we got two minutes to go on that. I'm going to go ahead and get that Triceratops cooking. Oh, he's going to be gorgeous! We're going to have so many different kinds of dinosaurs. I'm going to fill up this whole field with dinosaurs, and then I'll be like, They move in herds! They do move in herds! Wow! Oh, and look, our park is popping now. We've got some people running around. I probably do need that, that food shack. I'll put it over here. I'll put it way over here. And then we could put the gift center, like, in between. That's ingenious. I should be a... a marketing guy, or whatever. You know, a marketing guy. Alright, so let's do it right here. Shazam! And I also want a gift, gift shop. Where you can buy your kids some, some crap they will throw away as soon as they get home. Probably build them like close together now. That seems the smart thing to do. There we are. Um, and where's the the path? Where's the where's the path to get in? I don't quite see it. I guess because it's too close. That's fine. We good. We good now. I don't know what I just did there. Should I demolish some of this? Oh shit. Demolish this. Crap. Something's come up that could be interesting. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> and profitable. Interesting and profitable. Good science costs money. There's no avoiding it. Here's a contract to ensure we have the money. Up science, up entertainment. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm working on it. We are of the same mind. Dr. Dua. Alright, so everything's connected now, I think. Power consumption 3 and 3. Awesome. So we definitely need a new substation before anything else is going to be able to, to happen. But, uh, yeah. Triceratops is ready. <clears throat> we can make some money off that. Oh my god, it's like my favorite dinosaur ever! Fucking gorgeous. Look at him. Majestic creature, ready to do battle. You made that look easier than it was. I do make things look easy. Check me out, man. Our new specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference mm. with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. 
Oh, Jeff Goldblum. That's okay. I don't expect any thank yous. I just want the dinosaur to be a, a giant majestic dinosaur. That's fine, isn't it? So, what do we got here? Uh, oh. Hoyangosaurus. It looks like an Ankylosaurus. I thought this was a Stegosaurus, but it's another one of those Hoyangosauruses. I guess we'll start with this one. Show me what you can get from that weak-ass extracting DNA thing. Construct an herbivore, herbivore feeder? Herbivore. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. We also need a ranger station, dispatch to repair buildings and objects, resupply feeders, Take photographs and medicate dinosaurs. Okay, so we're definitely going to need one of these. Oh. Crap. I think I'm going to need more power to build it. Is that why I can't build it? Somebody want to give me the answer there? I, I think that's the reason, so... Let's try and build another small power station. Power output 60. Bizarre. Hmm. Not a whole lot of space. I don't want to put it right next to the freaking food mart. That's bad business. It's just a bad business right there. Hmm. Where might it go? What's that? It kind of blinks when I scroll over this. I don't know why. Maybe it's passing through that power line or something. Hmm. I don't know where to build it. That's alright. The mission now is to construct an herbivore feeder. Gate. We have a gate. Fences. We have fences. Herbivore feeder. Tall herbivore feeder. Carnivore feeder. Viewing gallery. Oh. We should probably do a viewing gallery, right? Can I make one? That, that seems good to me, doesn't it? Yeah, you can see the... the dinosaurs at the edge of the water there. Super. And then I can also put the herb, herbivore feeder right in front of that. It looks like you've run out of power. That's not good. Oh. Build more power stations or increase your output. Crap. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great Whoa. interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later. Dr. Henry Wu? I remember you from the Jurassic Park movies. In the first one, he's like a low-level scientist, and then he turns out to be like the, the main dude in Jurassic World. Remember? I may be. Oh, crap. Where am I going to get this power station? Hmm. Build cost obstructed. Maybe I can fit it in like sideways. Does that work? Kinda. Almost. I just need to hide it back here. Nobody's gonna see it. <laughs> there you go. Alright. That'll do nicely. I have to connect the power station? Is that what I'm to understand? Hmm. Let's go out this way. Shazam. Oh, I was hoping not to knock those trees down. God damn it, I'm a monster. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. There's nowhere to run. The night goes on as I'm fading away. It'll swoop around and I can build a path here. Boop, boop. No substation. Do we need a substation? I guess these power lines are supposed to, like, run to different stuff. Yeah, that's making good sense. Okay, so I'll just wait for this one to get done. Wait around. Each power station outputs an amount of power. Each building requires an amount of power. This increases whenever upgrades are added. Upgrade existing or build additional power stations to improve overall output. Yeah, I got you, dude. What about this expedition? Get back on that Huangosaurus. I'm kind of running low on money now. So 
We might need to wait around a little bit while we build funds back up. Let's see about this amber. Only 14% from the crappy one. So, uh... Yeah, I guess do this amber. Hopefully that's gonna push me over the top. And if not, then they'll be back in just a couple minutes with some more. Won't that be nice? Look at this park. The park is just popping. Popping back and forth. Enjoy some fast food, everybody. Have some have some gift shop, everyone. Yeah, this power station has no cable to it, so we're gonna have to build some substation. Converts power for use by nearby buildings. Must be connected to a power station by pylon. Uh-huh. So these are all substations, right? Is that is that accurate? I don't really know. I'm gonna have to do some experimentation here. Transports power from power stations to substations. Okay, so this is the substation. These are the, uh, the pylons. So do I need another substation way over here? I guess so. Hmm. Can we just, can we just build it across the water? Is it connected? Oh god. I guess that's connected. Cool! Oh no, it's not. We need to connect this other power station. Alright, we're figuring some stuff out. That ain't too bad. Build costs obstructed. Okay, let me go to the other power station and see how that's connected. Um right here in the back alright get it in the back booty meat booty meat and just run it across it's kinda ugly isn't it will cost obstructed it's gotta be on its own separate network well, that's not good it's gonna be so ugly, dude. I don't really want to run it the long way either. Ah, oh, crap. It's gonna be ugly no matter what I do. I should have built the power substation in a different place, but I don't have a, a whole lot of options. So. So, so, so. So your pants. Alright, I'm gonna demolish this. Shazam. It's gone. With this one. We basically need to go over this way. I'm sorry, hotel. That's foul looking. Obstructed. Why is it obstructed? Okay, is that good? We got power now? Still no. Hmm. I need a substation over here. I think that's the issue that I'm having. Alright. <clears throat> little subby station. Right near the, the viewing center. It's gonna give you cancer. Be careful. And I think that's what makes the buildings. That makes good sense. Alright. Viewing gallery is open for business. Took a little bit of fumbling and bumbling there, but... It happened. At least while we fumbled and bumbled, we were able to uh, grab some more dinosaurs. Cynodont. Well, that looks like a fossil that you could extract, but it says no DNA to ex extract, so... So what? What do I do with this? I guess I just sell it. Only option I got. High quality, medium quality. Let's extract the uh, medium or quality one. Go ahead and get on that. I don't really have a whole lot of money to do an expedition right now. But that's fine. We've got plenty of fossils to extract. Are you guys having a good time? Are people even looking? Herbivore feeder too. 
If I build herbivore herb feeder one? And I think I need the fucking rangers to refill these things. So, okay. Ranger station. Ranger station. What's the, the issue? Oh boy. It's not going good. How can I put this where I want it? You can't really. Hmm. That's bad. Ah, oh, crap. I, w I was so preoccupied with if I could that I didn't stop and think about if I should. Thank you, Dr. Ian Malcolm. Huzzah, huzzah. Maybe another substation. And I can build it over here. Hey, I'm Isaac. Hey, Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? True. Don't True. answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Well, okay. What do you want me to do? Extract new DNA to create a dinosaur genome to at least 50%. I'm very close to that, as a matter of fact. Hmm. I need to save a little bit of money, though. Let's see. I've got enough to extract this. That should push me over the limit. And then I get a hundred thou. Yeah, boy. Let's build another substation. Um... I suppose it could do out here. You want to stretch a little more. Do, 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 do. Excellent. Let's run, the th run this along the path. Super. And now I have room to build my, uh, my ranger station. Keep the dinosaurs nice and healthy. Feed them food at regular intervals. Yes, I am a humanitarian. Or a dinosaurtarian. But that doesn't mean I eat them. Uh, uh, uh. Unless they're bad. <laughs> then I will. I'll fucking eat them. Alright, there you go. Ranger Station Power Consumption 10. How would I keep track of all this? How much power consumption and whatnot? Look at all this. Isla Nublar. Isla Peña. Isla Tacano. Isla Sorna. Isla Muerta. I think Isla Sorna is where, uh, it's that lost world or something. But yeah, Isla Nublar. The island where it all began. He's like I say. He's like I say. Hmm. We didn't quite make it on that, that dinosaur or what's happening? Damn. Damn you guys, come on. Alright. Get another expedition going. Go back to China. Gotta get it in. Look at them. They're so excited. As soon as I give the order, they're like, Yes, boss. We're headed on out. I really hate all these power lines, though. It makes things kind of ugly, doesn't it? Ranger station. Ranger teams can be dispatched to repair buildings and objects, redisply, resupply feeders, take photographs, and medicate dinosaurs. Ranger Team 1! Uh, resupply the feeder. Would you? Won't you? Please? Hello? Select vehicle targets. That's, that's not very specific. Incubate and release the Triceratops with 70% genome. Oh! How did the feeder get refilled? Resupply request acknowledged. You guys want to want to eat from the feeder? I guess I just wasted twenty thousand to do that <laughs> for no reason in particular. Whatever, whatever, dude. Research item from research center: hookworm parasite. Oh, we haven't researched anything. 
The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. Hmm. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. Yes, I cannot wait. Let us do this. Enclosures, buildings. We have a great facility rating, and that keeps the guests happy. Super. I'm making a good amount of money now. I can be a park tycoon. Clothes shop. Visit her building. I need 200,000 for that, though. Yeah, but something a little cheaper. Hey, hey. Success rate up by 10%. Fossil Center Storage, Ranger Station stuff, I don't really need any of that. Asset Containment, hmm, there's Hookworm Parasite. Anti-Parasitic Treatment for Hookworm Infestation Adjusted for Dinosaur Digestive Systems. Need 125, 125 grand to do that. I guess we'll be there soon enough. But I hear the, the helicopter. They're coming back with fossils. Hey, thanks, guys. Very high quality. Oh, and we've got some rhenium, so sell that off. Much needed. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, go ahead and extract the, the good stuff. Give me the good shit. That'll take us over the top. Genome to 50%. It's on its way. Don't you worry. I could even get another expedition going. Triceratops to 70%? What am I at now? 58. Yeah. I need to get another expedition going for Triceratops. Triceratai says S. Ceratosaurus. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not going to do it. I don't want no fucking murder dinosaurs. This is not going to be good. And Montosaurus, Struthiomimus. Ah, Triceratops is here. Hell Creek Formation. Head on out. We complete that That's contract. That's what I like about you. You get results. That's what I like about you. You keep me warm at night. Tell me I'm the only one. Hey, oh, Jesus. Isaac, how you doing? I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. <laughs> My God. You want me to create a Ceratosaurus? Are you, are you fucking crazy? I'll acquire the genome. Oh, this will abandon your existing mission? Yeah, I'm not going to do it then. Get out of here. Don't talk to me. Look, they're, they're having a good time, okay? Everybody happy? Oh my god. Population social. Why is it lacking food and water? Oh, well, I guess its comfort was low because it was like near a bigger dinosaur or something like that? Is that... is that a thing? I don't really know what's a thing yet. I'm just glad that I got all the power and shit figured out. Now I can start expanding. Building buildings. Pretty soon we'll take over this whole island. And the only dinosaurs that will be here are, uh, yeah, the ones that we may be here. Good for us. Hmm. Fences. Fences and gates. Oh, we could do it anywhere. My goodness. Mm hmm. Oh ho. How far is this from the road? Oh, the road just kind of ends there. Well, shit. Alright. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the, uh, the creation lab so close to this ranger station, though. I'll wait on it. Because the second I end up with another pen, I'm going to be like, hey, let's, let's make some meat-eating dinosaurs. And that should... That shit's just not gonna be good. It's gonna be a mistake. Oh, we do have some more Triceratops. Triceratopses. Gimme this. Gimme this. Right here. Gimme this. Engine database. Locations. Yeah. We could research some stuff. 
Paleontology. Rhenium is a rare heavy metal with uses in jet and rocket engines. Oh, fossils are back. Silver? I know what silver is, bro. Don't you worry. Hmm. Triceratops genome is going okay. Yeah, we're, we're at fossils right now. Amphibian fossil, no DNA present. That's fine. Sell it for a pretty penny. Triceratops amber. Ooh! Alright, extra extract this crappy one first. We definitely have enough to go on another expedition. We should probably do that research. Yeah. Medical treatment. Hookworm. Less than one minute remaining. Super duper. Anything else for my guests? Gift shop, fast food? I need research for monorail, toy shop, arcade, bar, clothes shop. We can see the clothes shop as well. That's right. Everybody wants a t-shirt, and that should probably uh, increase our advertising. Mmm, yes. Enclosure. Oh, electrified fences. That's probably really important. Loss of power negates the preventative effects. Damn, it's just so expensive. What am I supposed to do with something that's so expensive? Genetic research. Intuitive learning, intensive repair, immune response, aggressive instincts. Why would you want intuitive learning and aggressive instincts? Did you not see the first Jurassic Park movie? Hello? Is anybody awake? Alright. How good are we doing on these Triceratops? Almost there. Extract a little more DNA. Keep it going. I'm going to be so excited to complete this mission. It's a big one. Hmm. Can we do it within the next couple minutes? Because I've got a certain time limit in mind. Ranger Team 1. I want to drive the vehicle. Oh my god! Hey everybody. Beep beep. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hello. Hello, friends. Dart rifle. What the fuck? Should I? <laughs> it's not a good idea. I have to find somebody that's like by themselves. Alright, let's keep going. I can also probably shoot the dinosaurs. Oh, this is super sweet. There's the creation lab. There's my viewing platform, or whatever it is. Hey, excuse me, everybody. You can't hit people. I guess that's good. Okay, have fun there, uh... There is a Ranger new Team job 1. Available, <laughs> and I know just the person to do it. Use the Ranger Team's camera to take a photograph that includes at least two Huangyo source specimens. Hmm. I mean, I I guess. I don't really want to though. Ah, for you, Doctor Dua. I I, I do it. <laughs> I think those Rangers crashed in the fucking viewing gallery. Watch out, fucktards. Good lord. Is a uh, Huang Yosaurus ready? Yeah, he is. All right. I guess I could, uh, I could make one. I'll make one! Get this Triceratops Amber extracted, and then we can make one of those as well. Expedition Center. I don't really want to go on an expedition at the moment. Incubate this guy. Oh shit, and we can modify the genome? Yeah, what's that about? Hmm. Cosmetic? Defense? Apply gene skin toughness. What the fuck? Why would you want your dinosaurs to be even tougher? That's terrifying. But I guess we'll have to try it. 
Skin toughness versus null gene. Yeah, go skin toughness. So that reduces the viability by 1%, which I guess is fine. Um, arid pattern gene. Null gene. Hmm. This null gene reduces the rating of the dinosaur, so I guess I'm going to keep that apply. And, uh... Oh, I don't have enough to make a second one. My goodness. Give me some money. Hey, people, I need money! It's a good thing I didn't go on that second expedition, I'll tell you that right now. I'm not going to have enough to make another... Another Triceratops, I don't think. Well, just enough. I guess we'll have to wait on that second Hoyangosaurus. Let's see him. And it's raining! Oh, he's gonna be so happy. When it stops raining, he's gonna be like, what happened to the world? Dude, that thing is so fucking cool. How did that actually exist at one point? Wow! Profit margin is in good shape. Excellent. Well, I guess that's where we're gonna call it, friends. Ah, the Hwayangasaurus! Another member of the Stegosaurians. Gorgeous, isn't it? I love him already. So, we'll get that Triceratops out in the next episode. That's gonna be pretty sweet. I'll have a... Uh, a prehistoric life mission completed. And then, uh, we can go, go on, expand the park a little bit further. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the game overall. There is a bit of waiting around, maybe a bit more than I would like, but it's not a bad game. For $55, I think uh, I would try and catch it on sale, but that's mostly because I'm broke. If you got 55 bucks to spend, and you like dinosaurs, and you like park management, building stuff, then uh, yeah, give it a shot, for sure. Anyways, friends, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. We've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. I would like to thank MMX Akira, one of my biggest Patreon supporters. If you'd like uh, a shout-out of your own or just your name scrolling across the screen, there are some um, reward tiers that I have on my Patreon. You can go check those out at your leisure. Anyways, friends... Triceratops is ready for release. We'll do it in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Join me in the next one. Once again, this has been Jurassic World Evolution. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. And until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again.